Within this video, we'll be taking a look at the tool strip, which is within the workspace of Vertex BD and visible in both 2D drawings and 3D models, but we'll offer different options for each. For example, 2D has options for accessing the layers and different selection commands, whereas 3D has different view options. This tool strip is able to be hidden unless hovered over by using the pin option here. Having it pinned will leave the tool strip visible permanently. You're also able to determine if it is displayed at the top or to the right of the active window by this function here. Next, we have the Verify Distance tool, which allows you to select two points and then Vertex BD will calculate the various distances between them in different axes and planes. In terms of the tool strip, there are a few very useful commands. The selection filter is one of those. With this command, you can select from the list of building elements within your project. This means you can filter and select specific elements from within the project as required. Elements such as wall members will also let you do further filtering so that you can only select a specific library or profile code from the model. Another useful feature is the release or unrelease window, especially if you have a dual monitor PC setup or similar. This will allow you to release the current working window from your BD so that you can then place the window on another monitor and see both the 2D and 3D windows at the same time. In terms of the differences between the tool strip between 2D and 3D, we'll begin with the 2D. Here we have the standard rectangular selection method, where a rectangle is drawn and anything within the rectangle is then selected. Alternatively, there is the polygon method, which allows you to select points and anything within those points is selected. Finally, there is the crossing polygon method which not only includes what is within the polygon, but also any element it intersects with. Next, we have the layer options. The first is make all layers visible. This will turn on all layers available within the drawing, with the exceptions of those defined as hidden within the settings. Next is select layers from list, which when selected opens up the layers menu of the project document browser and model tree. Here you can turn on and off various layers as required and also switch to other layer groups which are set categories where there are groups of layers with various layers being turned on or off. You can also select from favorite layer groups with the next command. Next we have the hide layers function which allows you to select various layers in the drawing and those be hidden. The final layer function is restore default layers, which will turn on all default layers, including any that are hidden. Next, we have zoom extents. This will zoom the active drawing to the maximum size it can be within the current workspace and will also alter the drawing limits. There's also window zoom options here where a window can be drawn with two points and the drawing will be zoomed to suit. Previous zoom takes us back to our last known zoom. As mentioned before, the tool strip and 3D workspace have different options. These here allow you to limit the search of the cursor in the model so that it only snaps to points, lines, faces and other parts within the assembly. These can be used in combination with one another and can be toggled on and off with the changing color to the rest of the tool strip denoting they're active. These next four options allow you to quickly alter the projection of the model from front, top and both left and right sides, whereas this option switches to an isometric view. This option allows you to pick a plane for the model to change the projection to. 
Finally, there is the option here of choosing from further views. The shaded wireframe option will toggle between the default OpenGL presentation and plain no color wireframe. We then have 3D limiting options. First, set a 3D limit which adds a polyhedron around the model. Planes can then be selected for use as limiting planes and the mouse can be used to select the limit point with the left mouse button setting it. Other faces can then be limited in turn. You can remove the 3D limits with the next option. Finally, we have an option to mark parts. This can be useful to assign a color to a loose or oversized part, for example. These can also be used in conjunction with the engineering components to see where it exceeds the part stress index. This concludes our video on the Vertex BD tool strip. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video on the benefits of the Vertex BD licensing system.